Hey everyone, it's Tyler Stroik from Universal Rackets, and today we are talking about the proper grip and paddle position for your dink. Now, when you start off in pickleball, you want to hit your dink as a forehand. So if you're a right-hand player, you want to hold the paddle and hit the dink on your right-hand side. If you're a left-handed player, you want to go hit your dink on your left-hand side. Now, when you hit the dink, it is essential to have the proper grip and proper paddle position. So what is the proper grip and how do you get into it? Well, when I'm dinking, I want my grip to be like this. I want the frame of my paddle facing upwards. I want the face of my paddle pointing towards the side. I want it straight. I don't want a tilt whatsoever, especially when I'm starting out in pickleball. Too many players, what they do is they'll start out going like this or like this or like this. No, I want my frame facing up to the point that I could balance the ball on it or bounce the ball on it. And I want the face of my paddle facing to the side. The reason why I want to do this is when I go down to hit my dink, I want you to notice what is happening. I'm going to do it to you. When I go down to hit my dink, look, the face of my paddle is pointing forward. This is how you wanna make contact. You wanna make contact with the face of your paddle pointing forward. So if you start with it straight, then when you go down to hit a dink, the face of your paddle is going to be facing forward. You need to make sure that you always keep the face of your paddle going out towards your target. A lot of players, they can't hit a dink. They struggle with a dink because the face of their paddle is going to the side or going here, going there. Wherever you point your face of your paddle, the ball is going to go. Once again, wherever I point the face of my paddle, the ball is going to go. So in order to get that proper face pointing forward, pretend there's a laser shining out the middle of the paddle, I have to ensure that I am in a continental no-tilt grip. Now, how do we get into this grip? It is very simple. Number one, you can think that you are shaking hands with your paddle. Here, look, I am shaking hands with my paddle. If you shake hands with your paddle, you're going to get into the proper grip. Another way that you could think is that it's like a hammer. You're making a hammer grip. You can hammer the nail on the ground. If you can hit the frame of the paddle on the ground, don't do it too hard because you'll damage your paddle, that means that you are in the proper grip. So either think once again that you're shaking hands with your paddle or you're hitting a nail on the ground and that's how you're in that proper grip. You wanna think that there are eight bevels on the paddle. If you want the continental grip another way, this is a little bit more technical, you wanna think that you want your base knuckle on heel pad on bevel number two of the paddle. So again, I want the base knuckle and my heel pad on bevel number one, two, number two over here of the paddle like this, so I can also get in that proper grip. I like to keep it very simple, just make sure there is no tilt whatsoever. Now, you can utilize this grip not only for the dinks, but then when you have the volleys, you can utilize the continental grip as well. It is extremely user-friendly. Now, if you are getting further into pickleball, then of course, you can turn your grip a little bit. The more you point your fat paddle face down, the more you'll be allowed to get up the back of the ball and hit some topspin. Or the more you tilt your paddle face open, you're going to be able to get more slice and more underspin, but in general, when you're picking up pickleball, if you're starting out with pickleball again, you wanna make sure that you're in continental grip and that your paddle face is always facing forward throughout the whole time of your shot. Now, the number one thing that I tell every single person while they're dinking is you want to keep that paddle face open and forward. The moment that you close your paddle face, that is when the ball goes in the net. Again, I said this previously in this video, I'm going to say it again. There is a laser shining out the center of the paddle. Wherever you point your laser to, the ball is going to go. Once again, wherever I point the laser of my paddle to, which is shining out the center of my paddle, the ball is going to go. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the link in our description to join our meetups. We're going to be hosting free events, free online trainings, tons of different things for the pickleball community. If you want pickleball in your community, make sure you hit the link and fill out that form. Make sure to follow me and subscribe to me on YouTube and Instagram. Have a good one, happy hitting, hit those dinks, and I'll see you next time on court.